This video reveals even more time-saving functionality related to copy and paste within Secure CRT. If you haven't yet seen the prior video, Copy and Paste in Secure CRT, we encourage you to watch it. If text is displayed in ANSI color or you're using version 7.3 with color keyword highlighting support, you can copy text to the clipboard in both plain text and rich text format. Open Session Options, select the Terminal Advanced category, and enable the Copy to Clipboard as RTF and Plain Text option. Copying in rich text format will allow for pasting into applications such as Word, where font face and foreground color will be maintained. If you're not sure what's currently in the clipboard, you can enable the command window, formerly known as the chat window, and use it as a scratch pad to inspect what's in the clipboard. Paste into the command window, edit it if necessary, and then send it to the remote device by pressing the enter key. For more information about the command window, watch the chat window video on our YouTube channel. Some devices may drop or truncate data if it's sent faster than it can be processed. To help work around the limitations of such devices, SecureCRT provides configurable character and line send delay options. Open Session Options, browse to the Terminal Advanced category and configure the character or line send delay options to meet the capabilities of the device to which you're connected. If you're sending multiple commands in sequence and the same shell prompt is expected to appear after each command is finished, you can enable the prompt delay option. SecureCRT will send the first line and wait for the specified text prompt to appear before sending the next line or command in the sequence. However, if any of the commands in the sequence changes the shell prompt, you'll need to use scripting to meet your automation needs. You can use scripting to achieve echo flow control, where SecureCRT will send some text and wait for the text to be echoed back from the remote before sending the next line. The echo flow control script example can be found in the script examples sticky on our online scripting forums. If you're interested in extending the capabilities of SecureCRT to meet more specific needs, scripting interfaces are available for accessing the selection and the clipboard. For instance, you could use a script to get the text currently selected on the screen and save it to a file. As another example, you could use a script to have the output from each command you run in a remote shell automatically be copied to the clipboard. For more information and code examples, see SecureCRT's built-in help or reference Chapter 8 of the Online Guide to Using VBScript in SecureCRT. SecureCRT supports a variety of different clipboard formats that can change how clipboard data is interpreted or encoded. The default clipboard format in SecureCRT is CF underscore Unicode text, which works well for a wide variety of copy and paste needs. However, if you copy text from web pages or Microsoft Word documents that use special encoding for long or short dashes and smart quotes, some remote systems may not know how to interpret these characters. SecureCRT provides a special clipboard format named BDS underscore text, which converts these upper ASCII characters to their lower ASCII equivalents, straight quotes and regular hyphen. To configure SecureCRT for this automatic conversion, edit the global.ini file found in SecureCRT's configuration folder and change the clipboard data format setting to VDS underscore text as shown here. Thanks for watching. Feel free to contact us with your feedback or future video ideas.